Thank you. Respected President, esteemed colleagues, as a young parliamentarian from India, I bring greetings to you from the world's largest democracy and 1.4 billion aspirational Indians. In a world drawn by strife and conflict, the teachings of Mahatma Gandhi and Swami Vivekananda echo stronger today than ever before. The world needs the Indian values of ahimsa, nonviolence, and satyagraha, which is holding on to truth. As the Indian youth moves through the world, harnessing the power of technology, entrepreneurship, and innovation, it is strengthened by the Indian philosophies of Vasudeva Kutumbakam, which means the whole world is one family, and Sarva Dharma Sambhava, which means respect for all religions. As the 145th IPU's theme is on gender equality and gender sensitivity, let me share how the young women of India are transforming and revolutionizing the nation and beyond. The women's self-help groups across the nation with microcredit facilities provided by the state are giving rise to socioeconomic development and empowerment within families and communities. The 50% reservation for women in elections to the district and village level institutions in India, also known as Panchayati Raj institutions, has led to political empowerment and increasing participation of women in governance of India. Today, the highest constitutional authority of India, the Honorable President of India, Her Excellency Srimati Draupadi Murmu, is a woman who rose from very humble beginnings to ascend to the highest office of the land. The land of possible is today in India, the new India. Merit and talent are the key, and technology is the enabler. As India completes its 75 years of independence this year, the youth of India celebrated with an appeal through this IPU to the world. Let us all unite in youthful spirit, reconcile our differences, and in a spirit of forgiveness, move forward together towards building bridges of peace and nonviolence with a view to making this world and planet a safer, a better place for our children and our children's children as envisaged by the great Mahatma Gandhi. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you, Honorable.